function of a function. It's easy to solve if we know by function we mean it's an interchangeable form. So for the first one, if f of g of x, we follow the f form first, which is 1 plus whatever you give me inside. Whatever I gave you inside, it happened to be g of x. So from there, 1 plus 1 plus 2x, and when x is equal to, say, 1, what we're supposed to find, then this is equal to 1 over 3. Let's try another one. f of g of x for number 2, not do it with me, it's 1 over this form. Whatever you gave me gets plugged in there, so we have 1 over absolute value of 2x plus 1. Evaluated x equal to 1, we have 1 over uh, 3. Okay, let's try the third one. f of g of x here, the form is x squared, something squared minus 1, whatever you give me, and g of x goes over there. Since g of x given is 4x, so it becomes 4x squared over 1. And if x is equal to 1, we have value of f of g of x for this particular problem is going to equal to 4 times 1 squared, so that's a 16 minus 1, which is 15. Let's continue up with our last two problems. So, namely, this is number four. Let's try number four. So, I'm having to find f of g of x equal to one. So, f of g of x, following the same thing, the f form is something cubic rooted, and whatever you give me here is g of x. Now we plug in the g of x form, which is x squared plus 2, evaluated x equal to 1. I have a cubic root of 3 as answer. Okay, last one. The last one we have g of x, f of x, f of g of 1. Again, we follow f form first. F form says 5 over 4, whatever form you give me, and this happened to be g of x. So this is 5 fourth, g of x is x minus 1, and you value it x equal to 1, we have 5 fourth to the 0, which equal to 1. All right, hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Door to Math. Please comment, share, or thumb up. Together, we can make a difference.